This instrument is the uh, Martin Authentic, well, 1939 Authentic uh, Aged, which um, <clears throat> is different than the, um, the Authentics that uh, we've sold in the past. Um, age meaning that it has that relicking, uh, commonly associated with, like, think of the fenders we sell with the relics. So Martin is doing uh, a similar concept where they're taking the Authentic series, which is already a time capsule guitar, and giving it that worn look, which uh, it just makes it look incredible. So it's already, uh, you know, pre-worn and, and pre-aged. If there was a time capsule with a Martin guitar in it, this is what it would look like if you pulled it out. I mean, everything about this guitar is constructed the way it was in 39. Bracing, the x scalloped bracing, the Adirondack top, which has also been VTS, vintage tone system, or in other words, torrified. It gives it, you know, whatever residual moisture is left in the wood has been um, removed via, you know, a process that Martin uses, a torrefaction process, and it really opens the guitar up, makes it sound as old as it looks. So, incredible top. Um, obviously, the genuine mahogany back and sides. Um, this also has, you know, ebony fingerboard bridge, vintage tuners that are um, reliced as well. So even the tuners look old. Um, neck profile is really cool. They call it the 39 neck profile. So it's to me, it's just it's like a, a full C in a sense. You know, it's not 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 like their you know performance-based necks that are today, which are thinner. This, this definitely has a little more meat on it, but it's not overly meaty. So it's, it's a super comfortable neck. The more I play it, the more in love with it I, I am getting. So, you know, they're, they, they're trying to replicate and duplicate everything about the period. So this type of labeling um, on the headstock would be identical to the 1939. Um, again, everything about it, they didn't really skip or uh, change anything about it uh, in terms of, of what it would have been in 39. So. Again, if you, if you can't afford a real 39 Martin, this is the next best thing. Uh, so it's 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 really nice guitar. Nice. Yeah, I'm having fun with it. Oh, I should mention too, which interesting is that on any of the current made D18s, the neck profile, or I should say the neck width is one and three quarters. This though happens to be one 11 sixteenths, which I prefer. So uh, something just to, you know, food for thought, or I should make a note of that, that this is not the traditional one and three quarters you would find on a, a standard D18. So uh, if you like more of that, uh, uh, you know, 70s, 80s era nut width, which I think is when Martin changed from the one and three quarters originally to one 11 sixteenths, this has it. So, you know, just for anybody who's interested. I'd, I tell you, I'd leave home with it right now if, if uh, I could afford it, but <laughs> this definitely is, uh, you know, uh, spectacular. So, yeah, one, you should definitely come check out here at the store. If you can't, obviously, this video will help uh, maybe, you know, get you motivated and wanting to get it. Uh, I could tell you, you know, without blinking an eye, this thing is, is, is amazing. It just, it plays by itself, practically. So... Um, yeah, if you want to come to the shop, check it out. Definitely it's here uh, or go to empiremusiconline.com to, to see the full specs and, you know, obviously to find this video. Mm -hmm.